Yeah, so let's talk about this. So uh, you mentioned the story in your monologue uh, about the Gamergate thing. Did you guys hear this story, the swatting? Okay, so uh, it, so there's a, it's a Portland woman, and she, is, she plays video games on uh, the, the video game broadcasting website Twitch. And uh, she, just a way to share footage of you playing video games, it's right? The, it's where people watch other people play video games because that's a thing. Yeah, and... Uh, and she was the victim of a prank this week, uh, which is called swatting, and it's part of game. Anyway, it's all. The point is, it's, it's very. It's a very confusing story. So to sort out what's actually going on in this story, uh, I'd like to bring out our senior technology correspondent, who's actually on the phone today. Our senior technology correspondent, my grandfather. Uh, are you? Are you there, Papa Falcone? Can you hear us? Hey, hey, Alex, g- g- can you hear me? Are you still doing that little show in the Mississippi River? It's at Mississippi. It's Mississippi Studios. It's, oh. it's a bar. Uh, but yeah, th- thanks for being here, Grandpa. I really appreciate you, uh, you joining us. Um, so can you tell us about this swatting story? Uh, look, Alex, I've been trying to make heads and tails of this for a week now, and I'm no closer than when I started. All right, so there's like this woman, and she has like a twitch, and then and she should get that looked at, and uh-huh. then she's playing a game, and someone like swatted her like she was a fly. And they were all mad about that Jarrell Butler movie from like six years ago called Gamer, which wasn't even that bad. It's not. I don't think it's. I don't know why the movie Gamer gets a gate, but Adam Sandler continues to get to get off scot free. You kids don't make any sense. Grandpa, it's weird that you know so much about pop culture from six years ago, but nothing about today. It's been a tough couple of years, Alex. Okay. You know that. All right, fair enough. Uh, well, so let me help you out just a little bit. So, uh, so she was doing what's called a Let's Play on Twitch, and someone sent a SWAT team to her house. Uh, a let's, let, let's Play? Like, like Jigsaw from those Saw movies? Like, let's play a game. I'm going to make you get a key out of a stranger's stomach to teach you by your own will to live. In that case, thank God someone called a SWAT team on it. Uh, I don't think it's like that at all, Grandpa, but you should not be watching those movies. I don't know how to change the channel on my new remote. (laughs) I'm sorry, Grandpa. I don't know why you started on HBO2 or whatever, but, uh... So this woman, so she was playing video games online, and they called a SWAT team to her house like it was a prank. A, a, A prank? SWAT teams are not for pranking, Alex. I don't know. I, know. I mean, prank use a SWAT team for a prank if you're trying to prank, I don't know, like the Sibonese Liberation Army, then sure. But that's about it. Yeah, that, that would be hilarious. What happened to good pranks, like shaving cream in someone's hand or putting someone's hand in warm water while they're sleeping so they pee themselves? Or poking holes in your brother's condom with a tack? Now those are pranks. <laughs> Jesus, Grandpa, that, that last one, uh, that was pretty scary. Eh, but you got a great Uncle Charlie out of it, didn't you? Okay, Grandpa. Well, uh, okay. Let's get <laughs> let's get back on track. So, uh, do you have any insight into like what would cause people to do this sort of a thing? Oh, um, I've been thinking about it. Okay. My best guess would be that a bunch of neck bearded virgins who are so threatened by strong women that they lash out behind the anonymity the internet provides the cowards in order to work out their own insecurities with women. That was actually. It was actually Spot pretty on, good. Yeah, that was that's right. pretty good. What did I just say? What? I think I blacked out. What did I say? <laughs> <laughs> Am I one of those Saw movies? Oh, God. I can't even solve the most basic of riddles. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry I can't help you. You're not in a movie, but uh, I got to go, Grandpa. Uh, thanks for helping us out. Don't cut off my hands. I need them for whittling. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my grandfather. Grandpa Falcone. Papa Falcone, our our senior technology correspondent. Why does he know so much about those Saw movies? He can't change the channel. <laughs>